Hey everyone, Case here. Welcome back to the Christmas update for 2019. I am showing you the try and save because this was a particular build that was available in the very first Christmas update ever. It was my first major event as well ever in the game as well. I had started this game I think a week after the Halloween update in 2012 so I missed that but I was around for the Christmas update and I ended up getting a couple of these items. The try and save actually I never ended up getting. I think it was available for free. All you had to do, I believe, was just do a quest line, and every time you finish certain parts, they would give you free stuff. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. But there are a bunch of items that are now available, blab, in the update, and these are available for the full update. There's the Circus of Values, the Screens, Igloo Mansion, Boathouse, Timberlog Diner, Bethlehem Inn, Toys Be This, Personalized Talking Astrolabe, and the stable at the end. I'm going to be going for one of these. I just don't know which one I want to go for. I've been kind of looking at them a little bit. And I think I've zeroed it in between the boathouse. Because I think that just looks fantastic for a house. Or the circus of values. This is because I believe this was in the very first episode ever for the show. A lot of nostalgia factor on that particular one. Circuits of Values or the Boathouse. Which one should I go for? One's 45, 150. It's the same price in my opinion. I don't know. That boathouse is calling my name. Remember, it's a boathouse, not a houseboat. Houseboat goes in the water. Boathouse, I think it's just supposed to be an actual house. That's a boat. From Season 25, Episode 8, White Christmas Blues. I think I'm going for the boathouse. Heads up! So that's where buildings come from. Yar! Take cover, you landlubbers, and pray to whatever guards ye hold. There'll be no Easter blowing in. We're all gonna die! He said, not knowing what a nor'easter is, but assuming the worst. It means a big storm. A tempest that devours all, gorging all the souls of the damned, sending ships and fish alike to watery graves. In that case, we might want to stock up on extra batteries. Aye, and canned veggies too. Plus, it is always sensible to have a gas-powered generator on hand. They be affordable. Not that it will do any good when the Kraken fixes his gaze upon ye. Sea Captain terrorized with Tales of the Deep? Hold on a second there, Sea Captain. I just want to see... Well, I think this is your boathouse. I think for the sound, it's still going to sound like a boat, even though it's a house. We'll go with boat sounds. <laughs> Setting sail for a staycation. Man, Sea Captain has a nice house. For the animation, I'm gonna say that the lights will turn on. There's no sail. And there's Christmas lights. I think I got it. The windows light up and the Christmas lights go on. I'm not going to say it. You know what I'm going to say, right? Yes, that's right. I'm a sucker for things to light up like this. I've seen the crack and tear mighty vessels asunder with his tentacles. This was a movie whose name escapes me at the moment. But Keanu Reeves was a miscast as the ship's captain. Of that, I be sure. Can a Kraken get into her house? So long as we don't invite him in, he can't enter, right? Homer, Krakens are a myth. Besides, we live in the sea. We're on land. What about when I take a bath? Can a Kraken get me there? Well, it didn't happen in the film, but sure, probably. I imagine the Kraken would like nothing better than to pull you to the icy depths of the tub. Stop scaring my husband! 
The fools doubt the crack in me wheel. But I keep a vigil from the prow of my boathouse, ready to raise the alarm when creatures arise. The threat of the sea be all too real when one lives on water that is almost five feet deep. See, Captain Luck through his spyglass. It is true that the sea is a cruel mistress, but uh, that turns me off. It's an animated quest. All right, before we do that, I want to just think of what the animation is going to be. We know what he's going to do. The question is, where is he going to do it? Is he going to do it at the bottom of the ship there in the front? Is he going to do it at the top where the, uh, the pirate wheel is? I'm going to say he's probably going to do it at the top where the pirate wheel. We'll know in a second. It is true that the sea is a cruel mistress, but uh, that turns me on. I'm on it like barnacles on a hull. Here he comes. That, that's pretty awesome. Look at that. I'm so glad I chose this. You get a boathouse, which looks amazing. I love the Christmas lights that light up and we get an animation on the actual boathouse with the sea captain. I keep wanting to say houseboat, it's boathouse. That's how we do it, that lover style. I saw it. The Kraken? Yar, it beat the sea into the froth, commanding the wind and rain with primal sorcery. I stared calmly into the hundred eyes, speaking incantations in a long dead tongue, casting it back and forth to the deeps. And that is why the Nor'easter petered out, and is all we got was a light drizzle. So, I don't need all the batteries that I bought, huh? Yar, you can never have enough batteries. Bit of old sea wisdom for ye. Once again, very, very pleasantly surprised by this. This was a fantastic purchase. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be getting the other ones as well. Don't know if I'm gonna get all of them. We'll see what happens moving forward, but I will probably get a bunch of them moving forward in the Simpsons Tap Down. So thank you very so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye, everybody.